Hello everybody, my name is Ravi Kesh and today we will be studying about Indian system for grade 5. Long before the numbers were invented, the counting was done with the help of physical objects like sticks, pebbles, etc. Eventually, the numbers came into existence and then there was a need to adopt a standard number system for counting. So today we will be studying about Indian number system. When we count large numbers, we start with ones, tens, hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakh, one crore and ten crore. So when we count ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore and 10 crore. This is your Indian system. Again I repeat, when we count ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore and ten crore. This is our Indian system. Let us try to read the first number. First number is 4567. It is easy to read this number because it is a smaller number. Now let us try to read the second number. Oh, it is very difficult to read the second number. And the third number, it is also very difficult to read the third number. Why it is very difficult? Because the places are not written. If these numbers are written on in the place value chart, they are easy for us to read. For example, you can see the 5 is written under the crores place. And then 8 is written under the hundreds place. And 2 is written below 1's place. So the number is 5 crore 802. Again 5 crore 802. Let us try to read the second number. Here it was not possible for us to read. As the number is very large. Let us read with the help of this place value chart. 6 is written below 10 crore, 7 below crores, 9 is written below 10 lakhs and then again 9 is written below lakhs place, 3 is written below 10 thousands place and 0 is written below thousands place, 4 is below hundreds place so it is 400, 5 is below tens place so 5 tens and 2 is below ones place so 2 ones. So 6 is below 10 crores and 7 is below crore place. So 67 crore 99 lakh 30,452. Remember children that you are not going to use the word and. Okay. Let me show you this example over here. When you read the number it is just 693. You are not supposed to read 693. And will not be used. Okay. So 693. Let us read the number. 2 is below 10 crore. So it is 20 crore. 1 is below crore's place. So it is 1 crore. 1 is below 10 lakhs place. So it is 10 lakh. 0 below lakhs place. 5 below 10 thousands place. So 50 thousand. 8 is below thousands place. So 8 thousand. And 6 is below hundreds place. So 600. 93. Let us read the number 21 crore 10 lakh 58,693. Again I repeat 21 crore 10 lakh 58,693. Now children let us learn about the periods. Ones, tens, hundreds. This ones, tens, hundred comes under ones period. Okay. 1's, 10's, 100 comes under 1's period. It is also called as units period. 1000, 10,000 comes under 1000's period. And lakhs, 10 lakhs comes under lakhs period. Crore, 10 crore come under crore's period. Again I repeat, 1's, 10's and 100's will come under 1's period. 1000, 10,000 will come under 1000's period. Lakhs, 10 lakhs will come under lakhs period. And crore, 10 crore will come under crore's period. Let us read the number. 72 crore, 85 lakh, 30,000, 
624. Now let us put the commas also. To insert the commas, always remember we will start from ones place. Ones, tens, hundred, and then a comma. So after hundreds place comma, then thousand, ten thousand comma. So after ten thousands place there will be a comma. Lakh, ten lakh comma. So after ten lakhs place there is a comma. So remember one thing that comma will come after three digits and then after every two digits. Again I repeat. Comma comes after three digit and then after every two digits. This is how you are going to put the comma. Let us read the numbers over here. Some examples are given. The first one, the first question, you can see the commas are inserted after three number and then after every two number. Okay. So this is your ones period. This is your thousands period, lakhs period, and crore period. Let us read the number: fifty-five crore, fourteen lakh. Seventy thousand six hundred twenty-three. Second question. Again, you can see this is our one period. This is our lakhs period. Sorry, thousands period. Then lakhs period, and then crores period. Let us read the number: seventy-two crore, sixty-seven lakh, forty-four thousand nine hundred nine. Number three. This is our one period. This is our thousands period and then lakhs period. So here we don't have crores period. Let us read: ninety-nine lakhs eighty-eight thousand five hundred fifty-five. Fourth one: one period, thousands period, lakhs period. We don't have crores period. Let us read: forty-two lakh seventy-eight thousand seven hundred. Fifth one: again we have one period and. Thousands period and lakhs period. Now here we don't have ten lakhs place, so this is seven lakh eighty-two thousand three hundred forty-two. This is how you will be reading your numbers. Now number names. The first question is seventy-two crore, eighty-five lakhs, thirty thousand six hundred twenty-four. This is how you will be writing your number name. And with the help of the commas, it is easy for us to read. Again, I repeat: one period, thousand period, lakhs period, and crore period. Let us read the second question: fifty-two crore, sixty-seven lakh, seventy-four thousand nine hundred nine. Third question. Let us start the third question: ninety-nine lakh, eighty thousand five hundred fifty. So this is how you will be reading and writing the number names. Now the modern convention is to leave the space to separate the different periods instead of putting the commas. You can write the same number leaving the space, okay? And don't put the commas. Let us try over here. Some examples are given. You can see this is one period, thousand period, lakhs period, and crore period. So let us read seventy-two crore. Eighty-five lakh thirty thousand six hundred twenty-four. So try to do these type of sums also without using the commas. You just have to leave the space according to their periods. Again, let us try the second question. This is our ones period, and then we have thousands period, lakhs period, and crores period. So fifty-two la crores, sixty-seven lakh seventy-four thousand nine hundred nine. Third question, ones period. And then thousands period and lakhs period. So ninety nine lakh eighty eight thousand five hundred fifty five. Fourth question: one period, thousands period, lakhs period. So forty two lakhs seventy eight thousand seven hundred. Fifth one: one period, thousands period, lakhs period. So seventy four lakhs eighty two thousand three hundred forty two. Home assignment. Please try to read and write these numbers in words. Okay. Now let us recall. In Indian system, the commas will come after three digit and then after every two digits. And there are four periods. The first period is ones period, and then thousands period, then lakhs period, followed by crore periods. So there are four periods. and you will be putting the commas according to these periods thank you